video. In this video, I just want to discuss uh, an issue that we notice occasionally with client sites who come to us uh, trying to improve their SEO. And I'm sure that uh, there's a lot of um, Shopify and e-com store out, uh, owners out there um, that have this same issue and don't even know it. It's really, really simple to fix, but it's just something to be aware of. So we had a client that came to us and been doing really well with their Shopify store um, in the last um, year or two. And then they moved to creating um, dedicated landing pages and landing funnels um, on specific products. So, for example, if they were doing a, a, a daily sale or a Black Friday sale, uh, Christmas sales, and then also some of their best-selling products, they started testing using um, landing page funnels. And we recommend that all stores do that, especially uh, if you're, you're only selling one or two products, to really um, build the benefit of your conversions using a landing page um, sales funnel is a really good way to do it. And you can still have your standard Shopify store set up uh, and then you can integrate um, landing page platforms. Uh, a common one is called Zipify and this particular page here is actually built on Zipify. Uh, there's Funnel Builder. Uh, you can even use uh, ClickFunnels. There's a number of different ways you can do it, but we like using Zipify. It's, um, it, it, it is probably more expensive, but it certainly has a lot of good features. So uh, you, you create your landing page and then uh, you can have things like a, a one-click upsell post-purchase. So you remove that um, that friction of adding an upsell on the front end. You actually can, um, when someone purchases and adds to their uh, purchases through their cart, then they get offered a one-click upsell um, after purchase. So they don't have to add their credit card details or their PayPal details. And again, they just uh, click once and they purchase that upsell so it just it really helps conversions and also the other reason is you can you, you've got a lot of flexibility in creating uh, nice looking landing pages so we recommend all Shopify store owners look at that certainly when they've got traffic and they've got some conversion data and they know how their store is actually performing so this this client came to us uh, they they had a, one product they were testing on and they, they had it testing for about three months, so getting really good conversions on their new landing page, uh, running paid traffic to it. Uh, so they're going to continue to do that. But they were seeing their traffic um, on their product page starting to just uh, dip a little bit and re reduce in the amount in the amount of organic visitors. Now, it's always hard to tell whether this was the exact reason for it, but which I'm going to discuss in a second. Uh, but it was because it's so easy to fix, it's certainly something you want to do anyway. So what they did was they actually had their uh, their standard product page on the Shopify store. They copied all the content word for word and they built their brand new landing page on Zipify with uh, all that identical content. They had the same headings. They had the same uh, SEO meta, so the SEO title and the uh, SEO description. The URL is different because Zipify creates a different URL, but but all the other content was identical um, on the new landing page. It just looked a lot better because they were building on a landing page. This this is not the uh, the product, by the way. This is just um, an example of what I'm going to show you how to, how to fix that. So really, you don't want duplicate content. You don't want to be creating um, two pages on the same site that have duplicate content. Now, whether you'll, you'll get a suppression penalty because you've got duplicate content, it is part of the Panda algorithm. But what tends to happen more now is Google see both pages and it gets confused on which one it needs to rank. And because of that, sometimes both pages won't rank as well as they should, or it'll it'll rank one over the other, but it'll be a lot lower in the search engine than what it would be if it was identical, uh, sorry, if it was a page on its own. So the so what you want to do is just make sure that uh, one or both both of your pages are, sorry make sure which of your pages you want Google to actually um, understand that's the most important. Now generally what we like to do is just keep the URL structure quite tidy. So we would recommend to the client that they uh, keep allowing Google to view the sh standard Shopify page as their organic traffic page and their landing page as the one you don't want Google to take notice of organically. So very simply, all they need to do is no index, uh, add a no index tag to um, the landing page. So if Google uh, does come and follow the bots follow the page, they'll see the no index tag and understand that they don't need to index that in the search engines and that the standard product page 
is the one Shopify page is the one that you want Google to take notice of. Now, later on, if uh, the conversions are really, really good for this uh, new page, you could actually do a 301 re redirect from the standard Shopify product page to the to the new landing page. Uh, but just to make it really simple, so with and most landing pages have the ability uh, and for Zipify, if you go to the dashboard builder and then you've got just a, a simple select checkbox here and it'll hide it from Shopify search, but it also here will say that it disallows the search engine indexing. And then if you go and look at the source code um, of that page when it's live, you'll see that the no index tag is there. So really easy to fix, but certainly something you need to be aware of if you're building dedicated landing pages and you're using both organic traffic and paid traffic and, and you can end up in this situation where you have identical pages uh, trying to rank the same in Google um, and that's never good. Okay, I hope that all makes sense. Thanks and I'll talk to you later.